I've always kind of been in and out of schools and really trying to find something that worked for me. The teachers didn't really understand myself as a learner or as a student and kind of brought me down. Like one clearly told me that I wasn't, I was like one of her worst students. She just didn't understand why I wasn't understanding like all the other kids were. Our students uh, typically have been told they would never graduate from high school or they would never learn to read past the second grade level. Can you imagine getting that message all the time as a child? from adults that are there that are supposed to support and educate you, what that does to your self-esteem and also your motivation to be successful in school. So along with having these learning differences, they come to us with a lot of emotional damage. Because I wasn't getting that encouragement or help from my teachers or even my peers, it just made me myself feel that I was dumb and that you know, nothing would change. And at that time, I also didn't know that I had an LD. I went to get tested and the woman said that I had auditory processing. And then that's when my parents found out about Edison. We could kind of tell right away she was gonna be a strong presence. She's a, a passionate person, sometimes a sassy person. She'll let you know what she feels and thinks, her opinions. And she's got this bubbly personality and she is a hard worker. She's one of those kids who will put in the time to get the work done. We could see she was really trying and really motivated. There was something there that was stopping her, that was blocking her from being the learner she was meant to be. When I came in, there was a different element. i just never been in a school where everyone has shares one thing in common, which is a learning difference. And at that time, I also didn't really understand my own. I think with a kid like Ari, um, she's got these great things she's awesome at. So the, the job of that teacher in that small environment is to take the things she's really good at and capitalize those, and then try to figure out what she struggles with and give her the kind of work and the kind of questions and the kinds of experiences that allow her to work on those things she needs to work on and excel at the things she needs to excel at. What we do for students is encourage self-advocacy. And this is gonna be a skill that they're gonna need throughout their life. Send a teacher an email. You can meet with a teacher if you feel uncomfortable with a teacher, like check in with a counselor, check in with an administrator. We are available to the kids throughout the day to help them. It can be academic, it can be social, it can be emotional. You can talk to the teachers about how you can change the work to help you progress as a student. So we have these vocabulary words that um, relate to the readings that we do. And for each word that we learn, we draw a little sketch to help us remember the word on the vocabulary test. Instead of doing sort of little drawings, she does a few major drawings for me. So she does this great art and then that triggers their memory. So her strengths can also help others. Like because of that support and more confidence that was given to me, like, I saw my grades change, and I was just more invested as a student, too. She's really grown, I think, as a woman and as a community member here. It's great to see her just grow into that, like, I am a leader, I got this, I know how to, I know how to function in the real world. And when students leave here, they have, I think, a better grasp of who they are as an individual. They're equipped to move forward and be more independent and be more successful. I'm really trying to like finish up this year really strong. I have looked at colleges. I've definitely thought about majoring in psychology. Um, if it weren't for Edison, I wouldn't be searching for a college experience after high school. There's a, a lot of talk that like Edison changes lives and saves lives. Lives really have been changed. 